Currently, the underwater world of trout series consists of four programs, discovery, feeding lies, trout vision and refraction, and not just trout. In discovery, there are spawning trout and fighting trout. We'll find out why this water that looks so murky and hazy when viewed beneath the surface looks so clear when viewed from above. We'll see how long it takes freshly stocked trout to acclimate in their new environment. We'll watch trout feeding on midge pupa in a spring creek. See run browns making their way upstream. We'll see the difference between a floating and a sinking tippet from beneath the surface. We'll see how professionals and volunteers use electrofishing and stream restoration techniques, and how a wild trout stream recovers. Trout facing downstream, I see it in almost every pool. What does this mean to an angler? Or does it matter? In feeding lies, we look at the many rise forms and takes on the surface and below. The large variety of food available to trout. Trout feeding under many different water conditions. What gives them the ability to hold their position in fast water? The lateral line, swimming muscles, spin control, a segment on trout biomechanics will make this clear. How they accelerate. A pecking order in wild and stocked trout. A segment on hydrology, how water moves beneath the surface. In trout vision and refraction, we look at the impact that refraction has on us as we view a trout and its world. Are they really where they appear to be? Conversely, the impact it has on trout as they view our world. How they view this angler. We'll examine rod flash, distances and angles. We'll see what this mayfly looks like from beneath the surface. And we'll find out how a trout can see and feed in hazy water such as this. We'll look at the physiology of a trout's eye in detail so that we can better understand this phenomenon called refraction. In Not Just Trout, I try to answer the question, why do we love to go fishing? Well, it's not just the trout. It's much more than that. It's everything we absorb, consciously and subconsciously, during the fishing experience. The flora, the fauna, some nasty and some nice. but they all have a beauty of their own. Wild brook trout, my favorite subject, will follow their spawning progression from their color change in early autumn, the fighting, the movement upstream to select the red, the courting, and then the final spawn itself.